Oh, the cuckoo. Oh, the cuckoo. She is a pretty bird. She is a pretty bird. And she wobbles. And she wobbles. As she flies. As she flies. Britta Wolford and Jeff Hinnage, a married couple in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario, were brought together through music and continue to get it closer through playing and writing together. I think of a point in time, for me that point in time would be Blind River in the summer of 79 and uh, Britta showed up on the canoe trip. We were uh, guiding tourists across the North Channel with her guitar and uh, I had this another version of this banjo and playing music around the campfire because music's the one thing that can bring people together. It brought us together instantly. But the music in the, you know, like 18 days on a canoe trip, something happens. And what always, what smoothed it out all the time was the music. And right now our living room is full of instruments. It's just like, it's a mess. It's, it's a mess of, it's just everything is out and, and we're just, you know, but we mm -hmm. oftentimes practice separately in separate places, separate rooms in the house because right now our styles are different. Mm -hmm. And we encourage each other. I'm, I just, I'm just totally amazed with his spontaneity, and I'm, I'm trying to learn from it. But we kind of have different styles. I, I think you might say. Mm -hmm. I tend to be more on the spontaneous and not so refined, and Britta kind of the opposite. We are kind of different personalities, so it, it, we kind of talk about that. That is what draws people together a lot of times in the, in the relationship. Is is you have the same interests as a base, but you know, you kind of uh, balance each other out in a way. And I think we can definitely, mm -hmm. definitely say that. But we still have the same kind of world views and, um, and that, that, and the music, and, and the music totally is rolling through, through it. So, I mean, really, if I'm thinking about it, we play a lot with friends. And, and that's where it all sort of comes together. At home, we, we practice, we, we practice our songs, we write songs, we kind of throw stuff to, to each other. But I, th I would say, from my point of view, that, that we really play well uh, with, in a group. Still to this day, the couple's love for music continues to bring them closer. I totally <laughs> love it. I just, I just, it's the greatest. I mean, he, ha mm -hmm. he has a gift. He has a total gift on stage. He, with, with the banjo, he's, he's, he's just uh, amazing, totally amazing. And I wish I, I had more well, spontaneity. I can echo that and segue <laughs> right into what I hear. When I hear Britta do her, I, I consider her voice to be healing. I know it's, it's healed me a lot, but I sense that with others too. And it's a tremendous gift. And, and I'm so glad that she's still singing like from her heart and uh, from her mind too. It's like Britta, uh, you know, she has such a perfect pitch and I appreciate that, let's put it that way. It's not something I would claim to have anything even remotely aware of, but I appreciate her perfect pitch. And so with those songs that are about that, I would just be happy to, to be her accompanist. I would suggest anybody who even remotely thinks they want to get into music or back into music, so many people did it when they were younger and, oh, I don't have time anymore, keep the instruments out. Even if you have to move them every time you want to sit down, they're there, they're there to remind you, and they will speak to you, you know. And uh, if you have music, if that sustains you, that'll get you through just about any rough spot. Uh, when you're out of money, or when, you're, when you're out of ideas, if I'm doing anything, it's even clapping my hands, I'm happy to be part of it. So, uh, as far as Britta and I, I can't imagine us having got this far without it, for sure, I don't think. I feel like we can, mm. we can do this forever, basically. That's what keeps people young. Music is what keeps you young. Britta and Jeff's love and passion truly shines through their music, and they have no plan on stopping anytime soon. Reporting for Shaw TV in Sault Ste. Marie, I'm Christian LeMay.